How about that? I'm getting used to the helicopter a little bit. So the base is currently being painted and I need to stay out of it for a little while while the paint is drying and all that. So I'm here at Trader Hughes to pick up a uh, M4A1 and some meat stew, I guess. And then I will do a little sell off to him real quick. This is pretty much all the loot from the last Horde Knight. Repaired as much as I can do it and you know combined and everything in the workbench. And it looks like, apart from some knives and a couple other miscellaneous things, Trader Hugh almost took everything. We're up to 80,000 dukes, which should be good for one more class mastery book. If we head over, yeah, today is day 37. It should be a restock day over at Dr. Anna's and we can sell the rest of the stuff to her. Check the inventory here and see, first of all, what do you have for mastery books, if any? She has the security mastery book, which we already bought. So we're, we're good. We're, we're not going to get any more for the next couple of days here unless we look for Trader Catlin out in the wasteland, which we could do. I could make the ra radiation mods here. Take this stuff off my hands if you would be so kind. We're up to 85. So by day 40, at least, I think we'll have the money to buy two more if she had the, the two that we're looking for. It's a bit of a game of, you know, whack-a-mole now, trying to find out <laughs> when she's gonna have the right book. All right, up and out. And um, I should have grabbed a quest from Trader Hugh there. I guess we could uh, do this Trader, um, I think it's a Trader Wrecked quest down here, tier three, fetch and clear. Sounds like a plan to me. I'll meet you there. A fetch and clear at the Birkenir. Has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Couple of walkers out here. Area secure, all right. Let's hit it. Okay, supply satchel seems to be on ground level, straight ahead that way. And it looks like we're heading in through the front door. We got more company out here somewhere. Oh, hello there. What do we got in here? We got a feral, nope, yep. A feral burnt zombie. And another one walking around from the back. Get out of here, would you? I would appreciate peace and quiet outside while I'm murdering my zombies. Sleepers in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Cool. <laughs> There's a part of the battleship in here. Nice. This is like the Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's get some Pirates of the Caribbean music going while we fight the zombies in the the pirate ship area. Oh, if only I had like a blunderbuss with me or something, it'd be perfect. We'll have to roll with a silenced lax guy instead. All right. Well, that was fun. But back out to the rooftop here. Ah, see, it's a it's a fake battleship, isn't it? It's just the half of it. They've cut it in half. They use the other half downstairs, I guess. There's always a utility worker on the rooftop. You ever notice that? Like, there was not a shortage of utility workers before the apocalypse happened, it seems. Oh, and we're heading straight down here, I think. Hello? I hate it when they make you go downstairs. And there's people down there immediately. Ah! Okay, he's dead, but I'm bleeding. Wait a minute, am I not bleeding? Oh, am I radiated? Is that, was that the effect that I'm suffering? I, I've got to check here, yep. <laughs> radiated, long story short there. Okay, so there's nothing I can do about that, right? I guess I could get some anti-rad pills. Maybe that would help. What's it take to make those anyway? I think they're cheap if I recall. Yeah, just nitrate powder and murky water. Maybe get some, put some iodine in that, because I'm pretty sure um, that's what they give people who have radiation poisoning, isn't it? They give them some, um, some, some form of iodine, I think. All right, taking a few electrical parts here and there when I see them. I like to get TVs and computers the most. They seem to give you the most value. Oh, there's my supply satchel. Snag that. Watch your back here. More utility man. Janitors, those too, you know, a lot of janitor jobs in this town. Oh, what about these servers? Uh, two electrical parts. Yeah, these give you quite a few as well. Oh, this is fun. They want you to go up and into the ventilation area. Conveniently man-sized, <laughs> as they always are, right? Got a, a radiated one here, and he's gonna blow. Don't let him do that. Get out of here. What do you suppose is going on? Oh, okay, I see, I see. Main loot's out there. Okay, well, we're all clear in here. Lock and load. Get some grenades out, maybe, to start off with. Where is everyone? On the rooftop? Or just kind of all back there? Well, we probably shouldn't have thrown that at my loot, but I did it anyway. Five regulars here? Is that the best you can do? Fair enough, we're done. Titanium chainsaw to kick things off. Not too bad, I'll take it. Titanium machete there. Titanium gloves. Like I said earlier, we're in the titanium age now. 
And in the main chest here, more titanium mining thing and a crafting from the masters. That's, oh, we've, we've long since maxed that out. We're good there. All right. We done? We're done. No, we're not done. We still have a zombie somewhere. I would guess that I missed him on the roof somewhere. Did I not sufficiently search the rooftop area? Oh, I guess not. There we go, now we're good. Okay, we are off to see Trader Wrecked just nearby, not too far away. Make sure to put your seatbelt on and let's go. All right, what about hey, a quest reward there, Trader Wrecked? Got the generic schematics I and uh, I suppose the scope is gonna sell for the most, I'll take that. And a new job, still into the tier threes. Let's do this infested clear the to the east here. downtown I'll post office. No, that place is hard enough not infested, so <laughs> this should be fun. All right, well, I'll meet you there. Okay, I can see it just down below there. This is gonna be a little bit tricky getting this parked on the street. Hopefully we don't run into any lamps or street lights okay i am definitely getting the hang of this it's a bit of a unique control set here and perfect all right any good books out front here yes archery notes scrap those and let's hit it all right for this one i would imagine we're probably just gonna roll with the firearms okay well i immediately see at least two police officers that one looks huge like that's definitely a mutated one all right all right and three two one sneak attack okay one down and got a demon there he's down go for the headshots on these guys oh several demons got some tough zombies back there as well Ooh, here we go yeah like i said just get the guns out it's very convenient when you guys all stand in a line so every bullet hits somebody well <laughs> Yeah, this, these infestations are where it's at. I think I'm done with the regular fetch and clears. I want the high risk, high reward. And there's nothing in those loot bags. Oh, who's behind me? Here, oh, here he is. Cracked into the ATM here for 700 bucks. Pretty good. Another loot bag there for a beaker. Plenty of those to go around. Auto shotgun schematic. We don't need that. <laughs> we are way beyond that technology there. Are we good down here? I, th I thought there were like some more mailboxes. Hang on, there's a computer there. Right, mailbox is over here. Nothing, and that's that's it, just the one. Okay, here's where we get into the real fun stuff though. The tight quarters type of battles. I guess we could go this way. I think I, yeah, I do have the parkour, maybe. I don't know, no, we'll take the elevator against my better judgment because I know <laughs> this gets really dicey up here. Okay, that's locked. Holy crap, here we go. And dead? Oh, God. Yeah, let's get... Crap. Um, where is everybody? I think they're above me. I think they're below me. And I don't want to get stuck in between. I'm going to head out to the rooftop here and just get a sense of what's going on here. Birds are going on. Ah! Just evaporate them. Are we good? Couple guys over here. Demon dead. Hazmat jacket there, and coil sniper rifle there. Okay, we, we've got a lot of people awake. I found them. Here. <laughs> Make life easy on everybody here, and just explode them. Did that do anything? Did a little bit. Somebody's gonna blow up down there. Is it that demon? Yep, still got like four or five more. Okay, I found them. That was easy enough. Okay, who's in here though? There we go, okay. All is pretty much quiet. Nope, hang on. All is quiet now. Let's grab the loot bags. Was that? That was not it. I think there's one more room filled with zombies and uh, it's also the loot room, I think. All right, let's get back up here and uh, where, where am I supposed to go here? This way? This looks good enough. And this place is clear. This is where all those zombies were, I think. Ah, crap! Holy! Are we good? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Oh, we have cleared the area, so we just gotta... <laughs> we're done here. We've, we've already killed everybody. Go talk to the trader, it says. And in the infested cache here, plenty of ammo. A couple of random schematics around here and a couple more loot bags over this way, and... I can pretty much call it right there. Before I go, though, it's been a minute. 
since I took out a cop car, so I'm gonna try that. Just see if that... Yep, that definitely brought some zombies onto me. But it doesn't look like the worst type of zombies. Holy crap, watch out for the spit there. It'll blow up the cop car. Yeah, for like a day one, this is pretty bad. But for like uh, day 37, not too bad. I can handle that. Is there anything in here that's worth it though? Yeah, kinda, yeah, actually. Not too bad. Are these worth it these days? Couple of schematics here. I don't know that we're really collecting those as much anymore. I mean, I've pretty much resigned myself that I'm never gonna craft a class mastery book because they're too expensive to craft. I can just buy them for for basically a pittance of dukes. I've got nothing else to spend my money on. The traders don't have anything else that's that expensive, so you know, why not just save all of my money for the mastery books and we'll just, you know, keep our fingers crossed that Anna will, will have the ones that we need. I don't even think that there are any more that we need. I think we're, we're, we're good to go. Okay, let's go check out the base now. It should be done all painted up and ready to go. Just had myself some lunch there, and I do hope you like the paint job here. The The reason I don't paint the base myself is because uh, it would take approximately uh, three to four days just to do the painting part, let alone the, 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 you know, accumulating all of the paint and that whole process. But if I just have a crew come in and do it for me, it's done in a matter of minutes. And so here we go. This is it right here. It's a little bit dark, but when the lights come on, I think it'll look a lot better. In fact, I was kind of thinking to myself, why don't we just start running the lights 24-7 since we're not worried about gas? How do I, how would I do that? How do I turn a timer relay into just a regular relay? Is that, is that how you do it? You set it to the same time? That did not work. <laughs> we might have to do it so that there's just like one 30 minute period of time where it doesn't turn on. Okay, that finally worked. That took some finagling. I don't think that timer relay is functioning properly but the alternative is that I would have to uh, get the wire tool out and like replace this with a regular relay and then hook it to all of the lights and I think it's got like eight connections off of it so that would that would take just a couple of minutes and I'm not feeling that right now okay so let's um hmm okay we got to look into the scientist class because I took the points into the master scientist there uh, a couple of days ago. So what did that do for us? We can craft a better spear now, so we'll do that. We also can do a military tablet and the anti-rad meds. Oh, and the advanced healing items. Okay, so quite a list of things to craft then. All right, let's get 10 of these anti-radiation pills, AKA nitrate water. I will make myself a military tablet but i need to rearrange the ammo that we had rolling in there oh crap things are getting a little crowded down here okay let's just test this out and see how it works there we go okay so we should be able to get uh eyes on like satellite view of any zombies in the local area and if i do this we, we have like x-ray vision the military has some really sick technology these days so that could be handy if we were here in the fighting position and we're wondering like oh hey like what's the status of the uh, the walkway out there we just kind of come over here and we can look right straight through the wall yep everything's good or no everything has collapsed we can see hey is there a big crater down there we can Oh, we can just barely kind of see the bottom. It's kind of not imperfect technology, we'll say. Okay, after the rad pills, we're gonna get 50 grain alcohol. That'll be for the paramedic kits. Get that in just a second. Now we need a new spear. To get the spear, I need a couple of these titanium crossbow bolts, which I then will open, open, get the titanium arrowheads out. And a titanium spear really is <laughs> very simple to craft these things. That is uh, not a lot of resources whatsoever. I'll take it. In fact, while I'm at it, I usually like just having a backup one done and ready just in case. So I'll grab a couple more arrows, open, open, and man, these things are cheap. So just go ahead and craft it. 
One thing I could do is I could take up all of my AP coil rounds because we have so many of them, it's starting to take up a lot of room. Let's also take up uh, the regular 762 here, I suppose, and um, should be able to make these bundles. This is just a, a more efficient way of stacking them as far as I know, so go ahead and get me nine stacks for the AP and... We'll go 11 boxes of the 762. That just uses the 762, puts it into a box, stacks more efficiently. Okay, so the upgraded spear might have given us another mod slot. No, it did not. Nope, we're capped out at uh, seven, it looks like. Okay, and the other one can just sit in the storage for repair purposes later on. Okay, so I turned all of those stacks of AP 762 coil rounds into one stack right there. So it just, you know, takes up one spot in the inventory there. And, um, geez, I'll have to do the same thing probably for the rest of these eventually. Let's look into right now crafting some rocket frags, though. We're gonna need those for Horde Knight. Rocket frag ammo. We got two recipes. It looks like one is uh, the, I don't know what's the difference here one's in the workbench the other's in the metal workstation one of them requires two duct tape the other requires three so we'll go with the two duct tape variant which interestingly also requires way more gas and a different amount of gunpowder we're also going to need rocket casings okay and I, I can tell that the duct tape thing's going to be an issue so i'm going to have to make some glue and yada yada oh there's some more grain alcohol there that should be good for those paramedic kits eight so far held back by well bandages but kind of also blood bags so i'll leave it at that need to make a quick trip to the watering hole i ran out of murky water How about some decade old fountain water yummy man that's looking pretty nice isn't it Oh, I can't wait to see it at night. That's gonna look really cool. All right, for the rocket casings, we need iron and clay. We can get a lot of those until we run out of iron. I don't think I need quite that many then. Try 50, and that's basically instantaneous. Gonna need to do an iron mining trip here pretty soon. I think we'll need, you know, like one more trip for the iron, and then we'll probably focus all of our efforts on uh, mining, is it? Is it uranium and titanium? Whatever the uh, the wasteland resources are. I should figure that out. Is it plutonium? Uh, what is it? Energy, energy cells. Those require the two. Okay, no, it's just titanium and uranium. Those are the things we need to go to the wasteland for. Good God, and the electrical parts. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a lot more of those, which means we're gonna have to do sort of a refocus on um, getting the, the corn and the polymer situation. Yeah, I wanted to do that. I wanna go, we gotta harvest the garden, but I also wanna rearrange it and make it look nicer. I'll do that overnight, I think. In terms of rocket frags, we're looking at a total of nine right now. We are limited by buckshot. So what I could do here is just take one stack and very quickly unpack this and see what that did for me there. Up to now 13, this time held back by the duct tape. And I can tell this is gonna be an ongoing thing. Okay, so we'll table that one. We need to get glue, then duct tape, and so on. So it's gonna be a while. And I had to pull some gunpowder off of the 762 production, so. Jeez, in that case, uh, let's not, oh crap. Let's just make a little bit more of this and uh, we'll save the rest of the gunpowder. Okay, I think I'm just about ready. Let's grab up the, is it the iron hoe? The, yes, the iron garden hoe. Grab that and I'm gonna head down and we'll do a quick harvest and rearrange the garden. Man, it looks nice and clean in here with all these doors. Love it. Holy crap, we got a whole bunch of zombies out here. Just in time for a wandering horde, it seems. Oh, come on, where's all the good zombies? <laughs> And we're done. Interesting that some of these loot bags are empty like that. I don't know what's going on there. Unlucky, I suppose. Some of them are just completely loaded. And these corpses are definitely starting to pile up around here. Okay, well, I can secure myself into my garden nice and safely here. No zombies will get inside and I'll do a quick harvest. We'll get everything out of here. And then I'll probably, as I go along, I'll start picking up seeds because uh, we're gonna completely rearrange how everything is done around here. There are some crops we need more of, some crops we need less of, etc. Okay, once we do this, we're never doing this again because picking all these seeds out by hand is <laughs> the most tedious thing I have done all day. All right, I'm gonna head off inside and get some seeds crafted.
All right, it might not be particularly easy to see what I'm doing out here, but this job has to be done, so I'm just gonna lay in some new crops here. I did the best I could. I still can't make freaking tomato seeds for some reason. I should actually see if that's a, like a recipe I can take. Living off the land, I'm sure I could do that. It's gonna require two points. I guess I'm doing it. It gives me additional harvest anyway, so I'm not gonna complain. And currently I'm gonna do two lines of corn, but I think I'll probably take one of those up and do super corn once we can get into that. I only have one cob of super corn, so I can't make the seed just yet. All right, it's difficult to see now, but there are like even numbers of crops and they're all organized by row, so it should look pretty nice. There's a couple of crops where I made a line of 18, that's the whole row, and there's a few that I did like nine of one, nine of another. So we'll get a better look at that in the morning. Do we need apples? Should we get apples right now? I have the tool still, the iron garden hoe, so yep, let's grab these up. And that does remind me, we need to probably do the coconut trees and bananas and such. Hmm. How do we do that anyway? Whoop, somebody missed a paint spot there. We'll grab that someday. I did plant some chrysanthemums so we can start the paint production ourselves, so we can do touch-ups and, you know, as we upgrade things, we'll have to repaint them. Well, I don't think there's much else going on tonight, so maybe I'll just do some cooking and we'll pick things up around breakfast time. Okay, I've just been busy organizing here. We have seeds in this cabinet. We have cooked meals in this one. We have a whole bunch of cooked meals kind of sitting in here. I'll take that stuff up. I still don't know what half of these do. We will figure that out someday. Okay, <laughs> I've just been fumbling over this for a second. Dough. Dough is made in the inventory. I just do it with my bare hands and that's going to use all of my yeast which I can't make any more of because I need more wheat. I've used all my wheat to make flour, so there's a bit of a chain there. We need to start stocking up on the wheat, though. Good thing I planted nine of those, I think, in the garden. And then after the dough, I guess we'll see what the dough is used for. Just check the recipes here. We can do pasta. We need that for the meatball anise, which is the lucky looter type of thing. And we'll need that for bread, which bread is used for slices of bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there really a distinction there? I mean, okay, and I think you can make sandwiches after that, so I'll, I'll look into that another time. Well, on the bright side, we have a ton of good cooked food up here. Let's go with a roast dinner. I don't think I've checked on that one yet to see what that does. Oh, that was like a health bar. Okay, so that decrease or increases resistance to critical injuries and the speed at which they heal naturally and I think it's uh, supposed to have given me a max health bonus all right well not my favorite there but um okay it's good to know we've checked one off the list I think next up we've got like spaghetti we've got the vegetable bolognese we've got the shepherd's pie all kinds of stuff to test out and I'm, I'm really hoping that I can simplify the inventory a little bit but this burnt out crap because I want to put the paramedic kits in the inventory but that'll have to wait until next time for now though I think the best thing for us to do is go turn that quest in over at Trader Hughes get a reward and get another quest for him I'll meet you there anyway What's hello Hugh story? Let's see what you got. Oh, did you not have a, a reward? Oh, no, I got the reward before I didn't get an extra job. Okay, we are into the tier fours now. Thank you. I'll take that infested clear over at the super savage country. That's probably right next to where we live there. Indeed, it's pretty close by. I think I've been there before too. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, that's when we were trying to knock out the class quests. I dipped in there and killed a few zombies. Right, here we are. Gonna park it right in the middle of the street. Plenty of room here. That'll do. And let's hit it. Tier 4, infestation. Do I go straight in through the front here? Yes. Okay, just check the weapons. Make sure we're good to go. We have a couple of legendary items if we need them. All right, well, we know what we're getting into here. We got nice wide open spaces. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick run through here. See who I can wake up. Hopefully everybody. Stamina, not too much of an issue these days. So I can just sprint right through here. No problem. Let's get the security people out of here. Hello, whoop, look out. Oh my God, there's so many demons here. Bring them outside. So far, none of them seem to be the fireball shooting type of demon though which is always pleasant. Okay, just get a reload in while I can and start stringing them around. Somebody's shooting fireballs now. Oh, they're shooting acid as well. All right, not the titanium axe. Oh crap, taking a beating here. 
always with the hazmat people and big mamas spitting at me. Okay, I did okay there. Lost a little bit of health. Took a couple of hits, but uh, overall, considering demonic essence. Whoa, what was that? Considering what we just went through. Oh, demonic policeman. Let's just disable his de regeneration there and then lay into him with the spear. Yeah, he's not regenerating anymore. In fact, he's going to blow up. I think that's going to be like a classic bomb. Nope, just a regular cop thing. I thought he might blow up like a grenade, you know, because he's got the rocket and stuff in his belly. All right, we're good to go. That was a pair of hazmat boots there. One step closer to getting the hazmat mods, I guess. All right, patch me up a little bit. I've got really good physician skills, so it shouldn't take too much. And I'm going to be thirsty if I end up taking a painkiller, so... I'll skip that one. Just go ahead and take a vitamin. Not sure if... I don't think I lost any wellness. Maybe I did because I got the infection there. So, all right, whatever. All right, I think we're clear out here. And I'm not going to loot through all of the bookshelves and... Um, not bookshelves, but like clothing shelves. I will pick this open. Okay, we're in. Well, we do have to clear the area. So let's just rip right through here. I don't particularly feel like climbing through the rooftop through the, the drop ceiling like you typically have to. Wake up, Karen. She a demon? Demonic mother. Oh, who's in here? Oh, crap. I saw arms reaching through the wall and <laughs> I panicked a little bit. Hey, level up. Oh, geez. Kind of scared me there. Some real sleepy demons back here. There's some food back here. I did actually burn through a lot of my, like, I burned through all my beef rations and some other canned goods, trying to make up all the good stuff that we have, uh, the good food. And I'm not sure, I don't think any of this was a part of those recipes. Is there a fire trap here now? I didn't know that. Because I, I, oh crap, oh, okay, put me out, put me out. I didn't re realize it had such reach. My bad. Probably should have hit that first, I think. Crap, it looks like I'm going up into the ceiling after all. Yeah, there's zombies up here anyway. I guess I had to. <laughs> More. Whoa, look at that auger. Wow, that's going to be a big upgrade, isn't it? We're going from 80. No. No, there's no difference at all. It's, uh, it's a flat 80 block damage. We just get better durability, which I guess is helpful less repairing and uh more mod slots it does look like cool got an upgrade today at least all right i guess i'm dropping down in here the good old-fashioned way wake up holy crap it's a demo set him off set him off set him off and get the hell out of there okay that did it that was a big demo back there too and there's a titan in there he's stuck all right good thing i got the firepower for this whoa did some of you zombies live through that explosion? How in the world? Okay, that, whoa, man. There was more to this place than I expected. That was, that was a shocker right there at the end. Here I am jumping down all willy-nilly thinking there's gonna be, you know, a couple demons, you know, whatever, no big deal. And then we get two massively dangerous zombies. Let's check the infested cache first, same old stuff there. Not expecting much out of these Savage Country boxes. And we'll pick this open. Then hopefully, probably tomorrow, we will get the meat Balinese. We can start taking that. Anything good in the shelves? Titanium chest piece. A little bit stingy on the shelves today. Just two of them. And that'll do it. All right, I do need to go home and get an antibiotic. Typically, I would just get one from the scout, but I think Trader Hugh killed the scout, so we're kind of screwed there. I'm going to head home real quick, get the infection cured, then we'll get our quest reward. All right, Huey, what you got hey, for me buddy. here? Uh, SMG chili dogs. That's a pretty here. good food, isn't it? Yeah, we'll take those. And uh, the yucca smoothie, because I'm thirsty. And another job, a tier four buried supplies. I can't say that I know quite what to expect there, so I will give it a shot. It sounds dangerous, but then again, when you have an auger and stuff, you make pretty short work of it. Oh, jeez. Uh, no, 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 no. Bad, bad. We're crashing. Gah, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Good thing I've got the repair kits, and I'm thirsty. Okay, I'm gonna park this one a little bit out of the way, just in case there are some, um, explosive projectiles being hurled one way or the other and i might as well clear some of this junk out of the way so that we can see better okay that's good enough for my liking let's hit it and i will 
This is pretty big. Okay, I think probably the best way to do this is to just, you know, not dig down too deep. We'll take off some topsoil here and see who spawns. Okay, I got my first ding there. No spawns. Continue. Another one. Here we go. We got spawns this time. Okay, that's it for that wave. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of dig and see if I can get a, another wave here. I was hoping for maybe a couple, get a couple at a time, you know? Okay, I've done it and um, I just need to get out over here and turn around and holy crap, there's a lot of people here. There you go. That's how you do it right there. Oh, get the blank a little. Okay, reload. And <laughs> my infection is treated, so I'm not sure if you can get infected again after your infection is treated, so I think we're good there. You know what? Leave all the loot bags. I will gather those up in the end. I have a feeling we're gonna need... Uh, we're gonna get a few more here soon. Okay, I've got like two or three more radius reductions there. Oh my god, I almost got stuck! Jeez, what the hell did you bury over here? This is crazy. Fortunately, we are there. We just need to grab and go. Just don't want to get stuck again. That was very, very close and dangerous. What's he, what's he got here? Oh, really? 19 exploding arrows is all I'm gonna really get out of this and some stuff to sell and in the loot bags to boot All right, just a couple more zombies to kill here. Oh geez. I got radiated again. I hear an airdrop coming in and grab that on the way through We done here am I bleeding what's going on here put a bandage on I am dehydrated we got to take that smoothie that wrecked gave to me and a little bit hungry as well. Let's go ahead and take the chili dog and see if that's like a special thing. Warming chili. 75% resistance to all forms of bleeding. That's pretty niche. But we did get a healthy amount of loot bags off of this. It's pretty nice. And that was scavenging notes. I think, am I maxed out on that yet? All right, action skills. Scav yeah, we're done. We are done with all the action skills that we're going to use, except maybe pistols. Maybe I could consider starting to read those. Quite a haul of loot here so far, though. Let's go get the reward from Wrecked, and then I'll have to go home and ditch it all. Alright, what about this time? Desert Vulture. Orange tea sounds good with the Desert Vulture for selling. I don't think I really need the skill notes quite so much anymore, I guess. So yeah, I'll take that. And the next job, I think, will be... Let's do... What is... What is Pete's outlet there? And what is Richard Munch's plaza? I know what that place is. So I'll take that one. And that's on the other side of Central Park over there. I think I'll reserve that for another time. And I did just level up. Okay, we do have a quest to turn in for Wrecked. We have the nothing special thing to do here, an airdrop. And I think I do want to do a couple of scout jobs to close things out for today. I stopped by the base and dropped off the loot and switched over to the motorcycle for this because I don't think we'll have very long distances to travel and I would like the maneuverability more than anything. Farm plot blocks. Okay then, nothing special you could say. And speaking of nothing special, let's do this. The dog days. The man eater. Nurse you back to health. And dishonorable discharge. And that rounds out the Can log of missions here for the scout. I'll take Chili Dog and another Desert Vulture for selling. Ooh, one grand off of that. Yeah, that's it. She's got the restore power. Not interested, really. Not worth it to me. So that's it for that. That should have increased our faction reputation just a little bit for the, the White River Survivors faction. I think for every five... Uh, points you get here, it adds one point to all the rest. That does make sense because Joel, Jen, Catelyn, and, uh, or Caitlin, I guess it is, and Bob only have four points. And so, yeah, that, the, the math checks out there. That leaves us with a tier four infestation from uh, Trader Wrecked, which is over there. Uh, we'll do that someday in a tier four fetch and clear. Yep, yeah, we'll, we'll do that half of town another time. For now, 
I think what I'll do is I will do a bit of a mining trip. We need to stock back up on iron and get steel production rolling for the next horde. Okay, we'll park the motorcycle here for quick escape when the screamers come, and I will have to get some shapes and some materials to come over here and patch this up a little bit. And I'll have to bring the helicopter back over to the base. Okay, whoops, that, that chest hasn't been gone through yet. There's a look at the loot haul for the loot bags that we got off the zombies we killed and the quest rewards from the scout. She gave me some, some food, some drinks, some fish tacos, which is nice. Forget what that does though. What does that do? Let's eat it right now and that way we'll know. That was not one of those special foods, it appears. Oh well, wash it down with some goldenrod tea. Get me some concrete shapes here and some concrete mix there. I think that's all I needed. Okay, I'm gonna walk over to the mining site now. A little bit of patchwork to do here, and these goopy bodies are a little bit of a health hazard to me, getting stuck on them. Okay, and with that, I think we're good to go. I am a little bit worried that they might dig through here, but uh, it doesn't look like they've been trying to do that in the past, so I think we're good. Might just were they jumping in here before i don't think they were but um you know what we also could do we could double layer this and make it a little bit stronger uh, i'm gonna run out of materials if i do that though is that a good idea i could at least double layer the head height ones like so i mean this isn't gonna stop a demon or anything for very long but it's gonna stop a screamer because i can continue mining even if there's a screamer up here for a little while and she can just kind of work on this concrete. Okay, we've got the brand new auger. We've got gasoline. I think we're good to go here. Might just use the remainder of the shapes I have to kind of beef up the supports back here so we don't suffer a collapse. Okay, best I can do for now. That should hold. Do we need more supports in here? I think we just need to start digging downward at this point. All right, let's do it. Screamers are here already. I'm gonna just let them sit up there for a little bit. If I hear a scream, I will bolt out of here. But if they're just kind of beating on the concrete, let them stack up there for a second. We'll deal with them all at once. Definitely gets the heart pounded a little bit when you know the screamers are stacking up there, though. I'll tell you that. I'm getting real nervous here. Gonna set a goal, though. 100,000 iron. That should hold us over for another week or two. Because if you think about it, it's not just steel that we need. We also gotta get back into the armor-piercing tips. Okay, we do have screaming. They are through. Chiefly because uh, there was a radiated screamer here. Okay, up we go, up we go, and out. We're done. We don't need 100,000 of anything. Oh, crap. I uh, I missed the motorcycle. <laughs> okay, there's a lot going on up here right now. Get on to the motorcycle, and we're leaving. We're not even going to hit zombies. They'll get tangled up in the spokes of the wheels. Okay, leaving goodbye. It is just absolute chaos when a screamer is able to scream, and she spawns in all those zombies. It's like she gets like 20 20 zombies per screamer per scream that adds up fast yeah i guess we just we have neighbors now that's fine they can they can live there that's okay rent free in fact hopefully they'll just disperse eventually All right, while i'm up here just fixing up the helicopter and immediately put that stuff right back where it came from we did make out with a lot of iron, quite a lot of iron. Almost 100,000, I think, if not more. So we'll grab some soil. Oh, soil, yeah, we're kind of running, eh, not like low, but if I do all this forged steel here, we're gonna be pretty low on it. Yeah, we had, we were up to 85,000 on the iron. We do not need 8,000 forged steel though. We'll go with like, I don't know, 5,000? That's 10 full stacks. I don't even think I need that much. And I can always make f more almost instantaneously if I do need more. What I do need more of are those armor-piercing tips. We were real short on that. Grab the rest of the iron and the lead. A whole stack of lead. What does that do for me? Armor-piercing tips. Uh, that's a thousand of those? Or is that ten thousand? That's ten thousand. The, the zero got cut off there. 10,000 of those should be fine, and we'll just sit on the rest. All right, those paramedic kits are finally done. I think I will kind of simplify the the loadout here. We'll just roll with paramedic kits and... Uh, oh, boy. What does this do for me? 60, but then I have the physician skill, so I think it's even more effective. These dehydrate you, so I'll just take the bandages instead. Put my rad pills down here. We'll kind of get rid of some stuff here. We got we got a lot going on. In fact, I don't even know if I'm gonna continue with Black Sky. We have Jason's machete in a worst case scenario, but 
for the most part, I don't have time to switch over to a really crummy weapon like this and let off a couple shots. It just, it doesn't do any damage. It's taking up another ammo slot. I'm not having it anymore. Okay, I've just been kind of putting stuff away around here and getting organized again. That's the, that's the old titanium auger. We got to hang on to that just in case we need to repair the one that we have right now. I also have a beer, which I found at some point, and I forgot all about this. Beer is really good for drinking. <laughs> Five wellness, so... I'll definitely take that. I think my wellness has been battered down a little bit over the course of the the last couple of days. Also got that demonic essence. What was that for again? Um, unleash hell, transhuman... Oh, technology crafting. Right, I forgot all about that. That is over here, and it's not... I don't think it's unlocked yet. I have to be a certain level for this. Level 80? What level am I? I'm level 99. Oh no, it's it's the future is now. We need the book called The Future Is Now. Can I do I make that? I do. The future is now. Can I make that is the question. Okay, that's all of my like paper writing material there and I think it said I needed some of those research notes. I do have a few of those. Is was that it? The future is now. I can now craft that. Boom. Okay, now just read this and that should have unlocked technology crafting okay wow laser spear is next wait okay let me read through this for a second we've got recipe for the laser multi-tool laser workbench fusion forge laser battery mod energy cell enriched uranium okay and if i take this next one we get the laser sword laser spear power fist okay Got that one. We have to wait until player level 110 for the next level there. And I don't know. Can I now make the the shots, the transhuman shots? I think you have to choose one, demonic or the other one. It doesn't matter what the other one is. I'm going with demonic. That does require, I think, some more points into technology crafting. Let's just double check on that. Where does it say that? I think it's the next level here. So player level 110, it says right there, all two tech boost perks and all two bio boost perks. Bit of a mouthful for me there, but I think that means it's, it's I think it's a little unclear, but I do think that that means like all two of these bio boost perks, all two of these will be unlocked and therefore we will get the shots that are used to do the transhuman and the, I don't know. Now we'll, I'll, <laughs> we'll wait it out. I'll figure it out eventually. So that's a big upgrade. We might be into the laser workbench era. Laser, laser workbench, wait. I need to have forged titanium. That's a problem. This is crafted in the metal workstation. That's not a problem. Laser spear is made in the laser workbench and we need forged titanium. I don't have any of that. I don't think I have very much titanium, period. 15. <laughs> 15. Okay, so next up then, first thing tomorrow morning, I think we're going to go for a helicopter ride. We are going to the wasteland, aka the Bronx, which is kind of down in this area here. So we're going to go see Trader Caitlin. We're going to go to the Bronx. We're going to test out our skills in the wasteland. We've got all the stuff that we need to be successful there. Military tablet, anti-radiation pills, really nice coil guns, and the best spear that I can currently make. We will get the enriched uranium, we will get the titanium, we will make all the forged titanium, get the laser workbench, get the laser spear. That is on the agenda for tomorrow. But I think it's time to get some rest here. We'll get organized and we will head off first thing tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.